Hi, this is CAD CAM Lessons. In this video, I would like to say a few words about the 3D Connection Space Mouse. The Space Mouse is a very interesting device that can significantly speed up, simplify and make working in CAD CAM systems much more comfortable. The main advantage of Space Mouse is the ability to smoothly rotate the part in the working area of the 3D CAD system. Space Mouse works with FreeCAD and has quite advanced integration with this 3D CAD system. By the way, we have started cooperation with 3D Connection. Using my discount code Damien CAD CAM, you will receive a 10% discount for purchases in the 3D Connection store. If you would like to buy the Space Mouse I am presenting in this video, go to the store and search for this device. It is the Space Mouse Wireless. Add the item to the cart. Then go to the cart. Enter the discount code Damien CAD CAM and click apply. The coupon has been applied and the price has been reduced. The basic issue related to Space Mouse is that we can easily rotate the part in the working area. We can do this very smoothly and something like this can be very useful for many people. Another thing is the ergonomic aspect of working. When working with the Space Mouse, we work in such a way that one hand is on the mouse and the other is on the Space Mouse. Working at the computer, we have a better working position because both hands are on the desk, both hands are supported, and this somehow enforces a better posture at work. But now let's get back to the technical aspects and working with the Space Mouse. Here, as you can see, the Space Mouse is wireless. We can connect this via Bluetooth, we can connect it using the USB dongle that comes with the set, or we can connect the Space Mouse using a USB cable. So we have three connection options. The next thing is that, at first glance, if we observe such a space mouse on someone else's desk, it may seem that it is a device that will fly all over the desk. However, in this case, one could say that nothing could be further from the truth. It is quite a heavy device that stands very stably on the desk. While working in CAD CAM systems during navigation, we are unlikely to move this space mouse on the desk. It is heavy enough that while navigating and rotating parts, we will not move this space mouse. As for rotation and navigation, as I mentioned, we can do this very smoothly. Here, as you can see, I am rotating the part in FreeCAD. In fact, I am touching this manipulator quite gently. It is a quite sensitive device. While working with this space mouse, I needed a moment to master navigation using this device. However, literally after a few hours, you can already feel this device and we can grasp how much force needs to be applied to rotate and navigate the 3D model in the working area. And okay, these are the basic issues related to working with this device. As for navigation, it works in many programs, even in those that do not have full integration with this device. An additional and interesting thing is that we have access to radial menus. We have such pop-up menus, we have two buttons on the space mouse, and we can activate two pop-up menus, we can customize these menus to our own needs, and we can assign commands that are available in FreeCAD. For example, I have a menu here that appears when I click the left button. Now I will go to configure this menu. OK, I have the Space Mouse configuration window here. Here, as you can see, I have this Space Mouse connected via USB receiver. Here I have the battery level, and here we have the button section, where we can specify what happens after clicking a selected button. Here we have the left button, the right button. In this version of the Space Mouse, we have these two buttons available. There are also more advanced versions where there are many more buttons. However, for my work, these two buttons are sufficient in most cases. But sometimes I miss a few extra buttons, mainly Shift, Control, and Escape. And soon, I will change this Space Mouse to Space Mouse Pro, which has a few more buttons. Now, let's proceed to configure the menu that appears when we click the left button on the Space Mouse. 
I click here and in fact we can assign any FreeCAD command but we can also create a new radial menu. I select a new radial menu and I will name this menu FreeCAD. As you can see we can assign 4 buttons or 8 buttons. I will choose 4 for now. One of the more frequently used commands in my case is creating a sketch. So I will assign creating a sketch from FreeCAD to the first button. OK, we have the first command assigned, the second command will be the extrusion command, which is the pad command. I type pad and I have here FreeCAD part design and pad. I have the second command assigned. As for the third command, I will assign the numeric keypad here. As for the fourth command, we will assign the undo command, which is FreeCAD undo. I click save and we have this menu configured. Now I go to FreeCAD and by clicking the left space mouse button I have here the commands we configured. I will go to a new FreeCAD project. I will create a sketch, click the left button, move the mouse up and the command has been selected. I select the sketch plane. I will create any geometry here. OK, we will create something like this. Now I would like to add an extrusion. I click the left button on the space mouse, move the mouse to the right and add the extrusion. Now I want to enter a value for this extrusion. I click the left space mouse button, move the mouse down and the numeric keypad appears. Here we can specify the extrusion value. OK. That was a brief overview of working with the 3D Connection Space Mouse in FreeCAD. I wanted to point out that we have quite advanced integration of FreeCAD with 3D Connection devices. By using the Space Mouse or other devices from 3D Connection, we can significantly facilitate and speed up our work in FreeCAD. That's all for today. Thank you for watching and please subscribe to this channel.